In this example, we'll go through the whole process of planning for retirement. So we'll start with what someone wants to withdraw after they retire, and we'll work backwards from that all the way to figuring out how much they should start depositing now in order to save for retirement. So there'll be two stages to the problem. Starting now, this person will save money consistently until retirement, and then at the moment of retirement, they'll shift from saving to withdrawing. The problem reads, Kevin is 30 years old, and he is preparing to begin saving for retirement. He expects to retire at age 67, and for planning purposes, he assumes he'll live to age 95. Based on cursory research, he expects that his investments can average a return of 7% annually, and after retirement, he will move his money into more conservative investments, returning 5% annually. In order to be able to withdraw $3,000 per month after retirement, how much should he plan to save each month? So there will be two parts to the problem. In the first part, we will find the balance needed at the moment of retirement. So from this, we can work backwards from the fact that Kevin wants to withdraw $3,000 a month, and we can figure out, based on a payout annuity formula, how much he needs to have in his account at the moment of retirement. Then in the second part, we'll find how much he needs to start saving, what that payment needs to be, in order to reach the balance that he needs at the moment of retirement. For the first part, we'll use the payout annuity formula, and we'll just fill in the pieces with what's given. So in retirement, he wants to withdraw $3,000 per month. That's the value of PMT. During that period, his interest rate he expects to earn is 5%. So R equals 0.05. Of course, this is a monthly withdrawal, and we're assuming it's compounds monthly, so n is 12, and t is the number of years that he'll need to do this. So if we look at this, he plans to retire at age 67 and assumes he will live until age 95. So he'll need to withdraw for the difference between those two, and it turns out that's a total of 28 years. If you subtract 95 minus 67, that's 28 years. So he assumes that he'll spend 28 years making these withdrawals in retirement. So T is 28. Once we've plugged all the numbers in, all we have to do is simplify this. So if we take to the calculator and plug all these values in, the number you should come up with for the balance at the moment of retirement should be about $542,000. $541 and $933. And we'll drop off the cents for this. We'll round to the nearest dollar. So the balance that he needs at the moment of retirement is about $542,000. Now that we know that, we can go to the second part of the problem. And this is our target for the savings annuity in the first part of the problem starting today at 30 years old and working forward until the day he retires, he needs to aim to save a total of $542,000. So now we'll shift to the second half where we'll use a savings annuity to save up to that balance between now and age 67. So now we need to use the savings annuity formula to find what regular payment will get us to $542,000 by the time Kevin reaches 67 years of age. So the savings annuity formula will fill in here. And now we can start filling in pieces. So P, the value he needs to save to, is 541,933. PMT is the unknown piece that we'll solve for. R, during the time of saving, he expects to get 7% on his investments. So that'll be 0 0.07. Again, his savings payments are monthly and they compound monthly. And then for T, we need to know how long he's going to be doing this process of saving. Now, if he's 30 years old today, and he's gonna save until retirement at age 67, that's a total of 37 years, if we subtract those two. So T is 37.
So now to solve for PMT, what we'll do is simplify everything on the right-hand side, except for PMT, and then divide 541,000 by all of that. So we won't show the steps here, just for simplicity, but we would calculate everything in the brackets and get a single number, and then divide that by this answer here, 0 0.07 divided by 12, and then take that final answer, divide 541,933 by that. And if you do that, you should find that PMT is about $250, $258.49. So that's the amount that he should start saving today. So this example gives you a full scale picture of planning for retirement. You start with what you expect to need for your budget in retirement, and then you can work backwards from that knowing what age you plan to retire, how old you are now, you can figure out how much you should start saving today to reach your goal for retirement.